The officer made contact with the employee who stated that she had been stealing the lottery tickets because she thought she wouldn't get caught. To make matters worse, she would lie to her boyfriend, claiming that the extra money came from receiving tips from customers. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Tasty Shoes, and we're back in the room with another video. And today, as you see by the title, we'll be reacting to Circle K employee caught after stealing two thousand dollars in lottery tickets. E, ooh, to all my new viewers, this is a reaction channel, and thank you for tuning in and giving me the opportunity to entertain you for this little bit. To all my returning people, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I hope you have. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Let's get right into it. Uh, I just talked to her. She confessed everything. Um, okay. I would like to take a look at the footage. Mm -hmm. I talked to my sergeant. He said that it's probably going to be what's called a complaint affidavit. So we're just going to try file charges, and the state's attorney will do uh, what they will from there. On December 13th, 2021, officers received a call from a manager at a local Circle K who wanted to make a complaint regarding an employee who had stolen lottery tickets valued at $2,000. The manager grew suspicious after the employee attempted to claim a $5,000 prize at the very store from which the tickets were stolen. Idiot. Idiot. Hello. When officers arrived, the manager would provide him with over two weeks worth of footage where the employee was seen on numerous occasions stealing lottery tickets and even splitting a $400 winning with a random customer. So you mean you steal tickets from your job and you try to cash 5,000? I don't, I know the limit here in Texas is um, 5.99 that you can claim at a store. Then you have to go to a thousand for lottery at the actual lottery place. So you try to do it at your job, idiot. First red flag. Freaking stupid. I'll take you off this. Oh, I thought you were going to grab it. No, it's okay. Thank, but thank you for what you do anyway, officer. Thank you. You have a good evening, sir. You too, ma'am. It's back in 2021. <laughs> Hey, Sarge, I'm here at the theft. Um, manager witnessed everything. Um, says last night the employee stole $1,300, over $1,300 in lottery tickets and also pocketed the winnings. She's not sure how much the winnings are. Um, I just wanted to know if you want me to do a complaint affidavit because she's still on scene right now. So I, I, could, I could arrest her right now if you want me to. Do you want me to go ahead and put your handcuffs on her? or um, What? evidence do you have she has video evidence she just gave me um, but what she has advised me it shows which i will i will double check um is the employee uh rips the lottery tickets off the roll scratches them off then goes and scans them at the machine and when she wins something she then um cashes everything out does she confess or what you interview her? i haven't talked to her yet i haven't made any contact with her yet um I just want to know what you want me to do if she... Uh, it's yeah. probably going to be a complaint affidavit, but... Okay. I need, I need to know the details of the case before I'm going to make that decision. Okay. Well, I'll go I'll go make contact with her. Bro. Um, I mean, do you want me to get a second unit over here? What for? Wait, I mean, you probably said... Gonna, you, you said probably you were going to... Gonna, sorry. Bro. Probably going to be a complaint affidavit. All right, now the sergeant finna piss me off, bro. Are you gonna arrest him or are you not? Real talk. <laughs> you you confusing your own yeah. employee, man. All right. All right, cool. All right, bye. Yeah. She being on. No, I'm stealing from your job. It's crazy. Stealing from anywhere is just absurd. 
unless it's like some condiments at a restaurant, that's different. Or like some napkins, that's completely different. Or like actual merchandise. The officer made contact with the employee who stated that she had been stealing the lottery tickets because she thought she wouldn't get caught. To make matters worse, she would lie to her boyfriend, claiming that the extra money came from receiving tips from customers. Do you have a driver's license or anything? No, sir. No? Do you have an ID? Yes. Oh, okay. Do you have it on you? Two and forty-one. What's your current address? Of course it's Florida. Of course, of course it's Florida. Of course. Every, every video I react to is always having something to do with Florida. Every single one. It's always Florida. Uh, two, five, do not move to Florida. Don't move to Texas either. Off Herbert? Yes, sir. What's a good phone number for you? Um, they have, they're changing my phone number back to my regular, so I'm going to give you my current one right now. But what's, when is that going? When is that changing? In 72 hours. Look, let's get that one. Let's get both. Okay. Give me that one. And then I'll give me your... up here for you. Because I don't know if I heard. Okay. okay. The one that's be coming up uh, in 72 what's hours. The, what's, what's the current one? The current one right now is 383. 2823, I've seen it. And the one that will be coming up in 72 hours is 7965 Let's go where she wants you to hang out for a little bit. Don't y'all be prank calling her now. Don't do it. Don't let the right. intrusive thoughts so, in. I just talked to her. She confessed on everything. Okay. okay. Um, I would like to take a look at the footage. Mm -hmm. I talked to my sergeant. He said that it's probably going to be what's called a complaint affidavit. So we're just going to try file charges, and the state's attorney will do uh, what they will from there. I, I told her for until then, until I confirm that, because he said he wants to get more details in the case, that she's not free to leave. So she, knows that she's, so she knows she's not free to leave. So if she leaves, she's, she's you know that. If you leave right now, Okay, I, I you're not free to leave. I'm All right. Um, I just want to look at the video sure. myself yes. um, and then just confirm everything with my own eyes. Yeah. Okay. Hey. What kind of car is it? Chevy? some questions for you. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I just she just called me crying and I was and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck's happening. Okay. What do you what do you think's happening? Well, well she told me that she got tips from four different people tomorrow yesterday. It was kinda sketchy because I don't think we get tips from four different people. Tips? Yeah, like basically they would what buy do I know lottery tickets. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm, I'm a changed man. I haven't broken the law since I was like 13. I know you're from somewhere. Yeah, a while ago. That's my son back there. Um, but 
basically when people buy lottery tickets and they win money, they would share with her. They would give her half the machine, so she sold it. Well, is that what she told you? She just told me just now the truth. She said that she took oh. the money. And so she's she lying. Money. Where else she she's lying about? Like she said, like three thirty dollars tickets and scratched them off herself and didn't pay for them. And she told me that she don't know if she's going to jail and she don't know what what's gonna happen. And she shouldn't have done this. Basically, like that's. And then she said that someone else really really did give her one fifty. They won $400, but I don't know that about that. That 150 that's a strange. She just told me now. She just called me crying now. Unless you want like thousands uh, of dollars. 150 is like a lot. No, sir. To just give a random person that you don't know? No, sir. No. I'm, yes, I'm short for money, but I I would never. I have my son to worry about. I would never do anything to jeopardize him. Uh, I'm a stay-at-home father, but if I have to get a job, Whether she did, you leave her alone. I just, I, I, she's not the kind of person to do something like that, you feel me? Yeah. Like, she's the nice... Well, she did. Hey, so, hey, and also, that boy, that son is going to be crying all night if that woman breastfeeds him. I'm just saying, because she's going to jail. I don't know if she's going to jail right now, but... <clears throat> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm supposed bro. to marry her in February. We're engaged. And... I don't know... It's just, it really, it really like makes me upset. Yeah. Understandable. Like, I don't even, I don't know what to do right now. Like, what if she goes to jail? I'm not gonna have no help for him, you feel me? Uh, exactly. That's... All right, Dustin, I appreciate you talking to me, okay? He seems up front at the top, too. Great citizen, great citizen right there. Hey Sarge, um, I watched the video footage, um, she's blatantly pulling the uh, tickets off, scanning them, and then if they're losers, throwing them in the trash, and if they're winners, she holds on to the little stub she gets, and then she cashes them out. Um, we're not sure how much cash she actually took from the store, but the lottery machine is short $1,342. Um, I talked to her, she confessed everything. Um, so that's where I'm at. Okay. What did she say about the money? Where's the money? Um, that is a good question. Where the money is. Ask. I can ask her if she wants to give it back, but we're, the store doesn't even know how much cash she actually get, has. Cause like, well, our goal is to recover the property. Okay. So she stole money. Uh, she, she's not the rightful owner of that money. We need to recover it and log it into evidence. Okay. Um, let me let me know how that goes. Because if she's not willing to cooperate, maybe we'll be more likely to do a physical. Ten four. All right. Bye. That's it. Y'all gonna the rest, money was y'all never recovered, rest. and the suspect was charged with grand theft and sentenced to just three months of probation. Write a comment below. Do you feel the sentence was fair? Nah, there's no way I heard that right. Three months probation? For stealing $2,000? Uh, I know a year would probably be super extensive. Well, I don't even know what the right term would be. Maybe three months. Maybe I'm just... I don't know, but three months seems like two less. We're stealing two bands? 2000 worth of lottery tickets? Gosh. Anyway, comment down below what you think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you like all my videos. All of them. Because I would like yours too. <laughs> Make sure you watch, watch, watch a couple more of my videos. I hope you have an amazing day. Today's Sunday. Hope you have a Sunday fun day. Make sure you do everything you're supposed to do. Don't procrastinate. If you got to listen to my videos while you cleaning the house, while you're doing your homework, whatever. But like, comment, subscribe. Hope you have a wonderful day. Text Christmas sign out. Peace.